Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. And you can see how the uh, candlestick psychology can help you take profits at the appropriate times as well as get into positions at appropriate times. We're seeing a wedge formation still forming here on the Dow. They haven't been able to get it above the, the top of this wedge formation. And with tonight's earnings misses across the board, Ford Motor Company, Amazon, Apple, uh, QCOM, Google, all of them have missed. That's probably not going to put a very bullish uh, sentiment into the markets tomorrow. Which means this sideways wedge formation is still not showing any great bullish upside for the Dow. That also allows us to identify what the Japanese writer, rice traders have already shown us for centuries. Where do most people buy? They buy exuberantly at the top. That gap up was showing that evidence. So if they start trading this lower tomorrow, kind of anticipate they're going to come back, at least test the, uh, uh, the T line and possibly come all the way back down to test the 200-day uh, moving average. Same scenario over here on the S&P 500. That gap up, kind of a breakout situation in the overbought area. If they start selling this over or selling this off, they're going to bring it back down to test the T-line, which means you want to be looking for a couple of days of at least of profit taking and maybe closing out some of your long positions. That same scenario works just as well when you're taking profits in individual stocks. Remember, we started buying Carvana right here because of that left-right combo, bounce off the uh, 50-day moving average, giving us some very good profits. And today they gapped up and started trading higher. Now, when they gap up in an overbought condition, the first thing you should be looking at is taking profits. And this is where you can use very simple uh, exit strategies. If they open positive and start trading positive, if they come back down through where they opened, that's telling you the sellers are starting to take control, which is more evident to us because if they've gapped it up in the overbought area, that's a clear indication that profit taking has occurred. The same scenario works when you're buying a position. When you see a lethargic trading uh, mode, and then they gap it up with a best friend signal, that tells you that a brand new strong bullish sentiment. Now you can start playing or utilizing your uh, other indicators like the T-line. So there was your message. It didn't really confirm. And notice where it turned around as soon as they got back to the T-line and started heading back up. Why was this all something you wanted to take notice of? Because this right here told you there was a new alert that there's new investor sentiment coming into this, this uh, trade. Anytime we can see a pattern, we can be buying. We recommended buying this one on positive trading today because if they did a J hook pattern at this breakout level. What do we know about a J hook pattern? Wave one and wave three will usually be the same, which means this resistance level was not likely going to act as resistance. And when we can see that that's about ready to occur, why can we be buying early? Because it's confirming our pattern one. And what is everybody else watching? They're all watching to see if it's gonna break out through this level. And they come rushing in. We just know how to get in a little bit ahead of everybody. So the same scenario here on Peloton. There was your J-hook pattern with a doji sandwich. And then they gapped it up through the resistance level. Now, when they're gapping up through a resistance level, that means everybody and their brother who's watching this level say, nope, it's gone through. Let's start buying. We're just a little bit ahead of the crowd. So using what reoccurs in investor sentiment time after time, 
we can recognize the patterns. There's our alert. There's a brand new new uh, investor sentiment, uh, bully sentiment uh, coming into play. That nah, didn't confirm, didn't confirm. Well, there's your morning star signal followed by a doji sandwich. Now what can we uh, anticipate? That this uptrend will continue as long as this pattern produces an uptrend that stays above the T-line. This is not rocket science. This is taking the information that we know that the Japanese rice traders have illustrated to us as being high profit or high probability trades. Notice where an excellent buy point was right here because there's your trend kicker signal, which implies more upside coming out of a fry pan bottom breakout, which implies more upside. You're just putting all the probabilities in your favor that investor sentiment is doing what, what we think it uh, is supposed to be doing. On the other side, when they crack investor sentiment and turn it very bearish, these are the type of patterns we can get ready to go short because we know the bullish sentiment is gone, bearish sentiment and fear is in now in this price move. This can be shorted. So with the missed earnings this afternoon, Apple, Amazon, Ford Motor Company, Google, I think even Starbucks, a bunch of the biggies have missed. If they start trading this lower after gapping up, that tells you they're going to be pulling the plug coming back at least to this level, if not this level. So learning this information is not difficult. I mean, this is just investor sentiment, investor psychology being illustrated in graphic depiction. Join us for our two-week free trial. Um, again, it doesn't cost you anything. And the benefit you're going to get from it is you're going to see the logic that is built into candlestick signals. If you always remember the phrase, prices do not move based upon fundamentals, prices move based upon the perception of fundamentals, you'll see how accurate and how perceptive candlestick charts and candlestick signals are. That'll be it. Hopefully we'll see you tonight. We've got our Thursday night free chat. Uh, come join us. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.